Hello everyone, it is Sean Gillison Productions here, and welcome back to a long time no see video, and also my first video of the new year, which I hate to have waited this long, but there's been a lot of things that have contributed to why I have waited this long to make a first video for 2024. This day marks a significant day, because last year, today, is my crash anniversary that I had on my e-bike, which I didn't make a video on until roughly... A month and a half or so after that it happened because I wanted the dust to settle first but if you remember that video this is that video today I'm about to revisit the site and area which this all happened and uh, yeah just to kind of uh, remind myself of what I'm really to be thankful for every day even if it means I'm being on my e-bike sharing this moment but I feel like I'm kind of jinxing myself in, the, in a way, just being out here. But I kind of figured now that the gift that I've been given, which has been being more situationally aware, I should be safe. <laughs> Pending if the traffic here is mindful of the people on the road and, you know, not on their cell phones or just don't really care of other road users and whatnot. So I just got to play it extra careful. And I will definitely be getting more videos on the way. I'm not going to make any promises because I feel like I've been breaking them recently. Just because it's been boiled down to a mood slash do I want to do this. To having people around me and just being in the right mood and mindset for it. So all that does boil down to why I do or don't do things. And I mean that goes for everybody. But I figured that today was special and I wanted to make this day significant. So here I am. So uh, let's go to the site which just happened. I didn't record it, mind you, but I remember it very, very vividly. So this is the area which it happened. So this traffic here, this traffic was backed up all the way from where you see those people walking all the way up to Okanagan Ave, which is where I just came down from. So, the fact that traffic was very busy that day, and not to mention, let's see here. This was on my uh, Specialized at the time, but, uh, oh my goodness, this traffic is almost matching what it was like on that day. <laughs> it's actually kind of scary now that I'm actually sort of remembering it, but the only thing that wasn't here or sorry isn't here that was here that day was a transit bus so the fact that that transit bus was right there and what happened was there was a Toyota Prius coming down this way and she was pulling into this part so that's where I was doing a a decent amount of speed but I wasn't aware because that transit bus blocked a good portion of my view for oncoming traffic so but you know the fact that it actually happened right here is probably the most appropriate area for me to park this scooter in Whew. so yeah this is exactly where it happened the impact site Ugh. Good thing I don't suffer from the PTSD like in a bad way. It's just uh, a part that I remember very well. So yeah, this traffic is was almost as busy as day. The only thing that's missing, oh no, there comes a transit bus. Except for he's going the opposite way. He was heading north. So <laughs> almost, and that's where I remained for approximately. 40 minutes and I had a decent crowd here on unsuspected like that's the only thing that doesn't match now that matched then is that this gas station was packed like 15 20 people at max and people were like oh my god did you just see that so yeah this gas station is not busy but maybe that's due to the upcoming carbon tax inflation that's gonna happen which is why people are not probably here right now gassing up <sighs> and then this is where the ambulance came up and shipped me up all the way up to the hospital which is up there which I don't quite feel going up to but uh, yeah this is where it happened I was using the bike lane and that's basically where my view got stopped and then I couldn't help but to have collided with a Toyota Prius oh, anyway <laughs> I'm gonna get moving now but I'm gonna go I'm gonna go keep going straight <sighs> 
So yeah, right here is where I dropped. And uh, that's where a lot of people were shocked that day. And um, the story I could go on about that I had to try and visualize that I can't really perform right now is what happened after that. And that's when these guys here, actually a few doctors from Sterling Center came down and wondered, like, you know, came to my aid, came and checked on me. And this is when I was on, on my way to go get my go track scooter. So uh, that's when a few doctors came by to assist me. And then I was asked, are you okay? Do you know what time? Do you know what day? Do you know what year it is? Do you know where you're at? And because I was actually winded, because I had my uh, tire pump in my backpack, the fact that the frickin' tire pump got crunched or sandwiched between my back and the windshield, I was basically knocked out of breath for about up to three minutes. And while I was trying my best to respond to the questions, it was a real struggle because my lungs were hurting at the same time and my muscle contractions. I was able to get myself up into the stretcher and then that's when I got uh, put into the back of an ambulance for the very first time. Uh, that's where I got processed at in the emergency room. And let me tell you, I mean, I wasn't able to see much because I had a freaking neck brace so I couldn't see or really process things around me apart from the people who were there for me and with me that uh, they were trying to process like, oh my god, how did this all happen to you and stuff? I'm like, oh boy, how am I going to explain this? <laughs> so, yeah, and then from that point on, let's uh, skip forward to where I got out of the hospital and that's where I felt at my light at like the dizziest because it was like the adrenaline wore off and then uh, that's when I, f I felt like extreme sweat coming over me and stuff and I was like why the hell am I sweating this much and then basically skipping forward to 5 30 that day I come home to get some of my stuff and then that's when I go to the, uh, the care aid of my mom which uh, I gotta say she did a terrific job in doing and then, uh, yeah, I got one, uh, went back here. I'm kind of doxing the last place I lived at because I don't want to dox where I live right now to uh, retain that anonymity. But, uh, yeah, so I came home, got my stuff, and then headed out to my aunt and uncle's place, which is out by Lavington, and then uh, spent the remainder of my week there. And uh, came back here on that following Sunday. And then uh, try to do my best in my recovery here. So, yeah, I just wanted to uh, take this day and video and process what happened on that very day because I remember it so very well. I just I can't really process, and it'd be very awkward if I was actually at the station performing the actions that happened. And they'd be like, what? What's that dude? What's that guy doing? And be like, wait, is that the same guy who got into that crash last year? So that's one last thing I don't want to be reminding people of because everyone has moved on, including me. So I'm the only one who's got the memory, apart from the one who was there with me that day, which was my buddy. I'm not gonna really disclose his name, but yeah, um, it was a very frightening day and a very strong one to learn from. So, but yeah, I'm just gonna say my piece here. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video, and I'll hopefully be able to do a video on my e-bike, uh, my new e-bike coming up here soon, and uh, go for a ride on that. So until next time, I hope you guys enjoy your day, and stay safe and have fun out there. Peace.